the driveline must be correctly phased and have appropriate angles. Correct phasing of a driveline means that the yokes on either side of the driveline element must be in line or parallel. Angularity refers to the working angle of the U-joints. Smooth operation requires that these angles be the same or within acceptable tolerances for each element in the driveline. The working angles for each pair of U-joints should be the same. To find out why improper phasing and angularity cause vibration, let's look at this working model of a driveline. As you know, U-joints are designed to work at angles. And when you have a linked shaft, with each section rotating at a different angle, a unique phenomenon occurs, which we'll demonstrate with this model. The angles have been exaggerated to better demonstrate vibration. This model has an electric motor which rotates at a constant speed. As you can see from the white stripes, we've adjusted the yokes so that they're 90 degrees out of phase. When you look at the driveline model, you can see that the yokes are at right angles. Each shaft has a sprocket attached. When the driveline rotates, a card can be held next to the sprocket and the sound will indicate variations in speed. For example, the first shaft from the motor rotates at a constant speed and sounds like this. The constant sound indicates constant speed. But listen to what happens when we hold the card to the sprocket on the second shaft. The rotating speed of the shaft varies. One revolution of the shaft sounds like this. As you can tell from the sound, the shaft speeds up and slows down twice. Now let's listen to the sprocket of the third shaft. The speed of the third shaft varies even more than the second. This is an out-of-phase condition. At high RPM, the varied speed of the third shaft will show up as vibration. For vibration-free operation, the last element in a driveline must rotate at a constant speed. Now, we'll put the yokes back in phase by lining them up. With the yokes parallel, listen to the speeds of each shaft. Again, the first shaft is rotating at a constant speed. Again, the second shaft rotates at a varied speed. But with the U-joints in phase, the third shaft rotates at a constant speed. By lining up the yokes on each shaft, we've canceled out the fluctuating speed of the center sprocket. This canceling effect only works if each U-joint is at the proper angle. In other words, proper phasing will only eliminate vibration if the driveline angles are correct. The angle of the U-joint at each end of the shaft should be the same. We can demonstrate this by changing the working angle of the first U-joint. Now, even though the driveline is in phase, we have a vibration condition. With a large amount of angle difference, the first shaft will rotate at a constant rate. And the second shaft will, as expected, rotate at a varied speed. But the third shaft also rotates at a varied speed. Drive lines must be in phase, and the U-joints adjusted to equal angles for vibration-free operation.